Hey there! I'm here on this video to give you a sample of my English so you can make the uh, educated decision about if you want or not have lessons with me. Right now I am an instructor at a Super Prof, which is an international platform, as you can see. Uh, it works like private lessons. You, I'm going to show you at the end of the video how you can ask for the lessons. I mean, it's quite easy, but I'm going to show you just to have more time with me so you can see more my pronunciations, you can see more my accent. I'm from Brazil. As you can see, I have a strong accent. I'm, I'm proud of that. I have no problem of that. I have seen some people that spend years trying to learn how to be speak like a native. I see no reason for that. I have friends of mine that studied with me at my Master of Science. I did my Master of Science in Europe, in Italy. So I used English as my first language for about uh, six, seven years. And I still, I mean, right now I'm in Brazil, but I'm still, I still use it because sometimes I speak with my friends from, from abroad. I have a YouTube channel. I prepare some time lessons. I write regularly. So let me tell you a little bit about my, my routine, how my life, my daily life. I read a lot in English. My, my preferred uh, language for reading is, is English. The reason is that the, the literature in English is much more rich. It's richer than any in Portuguese one. Uh, and that's why I, I, make, I prepare webinars. I, some, recently, I start to make some interviews on my YouTube channels about biomathematics. So I decided to also to to give more time to this profile at Superprof. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm planning to, uh, to, let's say, make available this, uh, this, this, uh, this video uh, precisely the way it is, without uh, major additions, just minor modification on to make it uh, increase the quality. But I'm not, I'm not planning to make a major modification, I'm not trying to hide anything from you. I'm planning to give you, and this, on this video, I'm giving you a sample of my English. You may ask yourself, why should I learn English with a, if a Brazilian, if I can learn with a native? It's true. If you have the opportunity to learn with a native, I would strongly advise you to choose a native. But I can tell you a little bit about my own experience, my own experience. I, for, I, let's say for about uh, seven years, I have learned English from a classroom. I studied like CCA, FISC, and I learned from audios, like everything perfect. The pronunciation was perfect. Uh, everything very perfect. But the first time I went abroad, I have to tell you, it was a mess. Because, I mean, I knew the grammar, I knew the rules. But uh, I can tell you, if you are planning to go abroad, unless you are planning to go to U USA or any country that has English as, even if you go, because my English I have learned the American, because so if I plan to go abroad for to another country, just I have my one experience of mine. My last professor of English was from New Zealand. <laughs> I remember that the first lesson, the, on the first lesson, you had like about uh, 10 uh, or more uh, students. After the first lesson, just four remain. Then I believe in only three. I was one of them. Why? Because the accent from New Zealand, in the, uh, they have the, their, their English is their first language, but their accent is pretty strong. If speakers were with Indian, African, Africa, I have some friends from Africa and they speak English as first language but they have some kind of broken English as some guy told me uh, if you speak someone even though even if you speak with someone that's not uh, their first language as English as just China uh, uh, you still have the accent so it, it, if you teach your brain how to adapt to any accent you put Brazilian Italian doesn't matter French of course, you have some situations that's impossible to understand, but most of the time, the accent is not the problem. The problem is the adaptation of your brain. So maybe uh, the fact that you learn from Brazilian can be a pretty nice opportunity that you can teach your brain. I can, I can tell you for sure that it, except for minor mistakes, except for minor mistake of pronunciation, uh, some accent, 
my English is fluent. I, I, I can tell you that for six years it was more than enough. I gave lecture, people couldn't stand me. I had a friend that was from Iran. He used to say something interesting. As long as, no, sorry, he was from Poland. I, he was my roommate in Poland. And he used to say that as long as people can understand you, that's enough. <laughs> of course, you have all to improve. So I try to improve. So as I told you, my, my, my daily life, I, I read just in English, essentially. Uh, I just, uh, my Netflix is just in English, except for, for example, I just watched a very nice movie from, from India. So they didn't have the, the English audio, but they have the English subtitle. The reason I keep using just English in Netflix, for instance, is because for me it's now it's natural. So uh, I did it, I did the TOEFL IBT five times because it has a time span of two years. So you have to redo it every time you want to use it again. So I did it, I did it for five times. If you don't know what TOEFL IBT is, TOEFL IBT is, a, is an exam, it's an American exam that you pay not to give you certification. Most of the European universities they ask for you for the TOEFL IBT. The TOEFL IBT is divided into four sections. Right, reading, speaking, and listening. Uh, the sections are independent. You will get like, uh, 30 points each section. Uh, for a, but from a human perspective, this is, uh, the sections are somehow connected, but not completely connected. I mean, if you learn, you can train. I have my, for, uh, based on my own experience, that I did four times. So I had, like say, a, a different uh, values and different parts because I trained for different parts. The last one, I, I was trained for uh, New Zealand University. That unfortunately, I was not accepted. A pretty important was New Zealand. But they asked a very high score in the writing section. So I decided to train for the right section. I got like 28 on 30, like I lost two points because the, the exam, the, the list, the right exam, they divide in three parts. So you have four parts for the whole exam, for a section. Then the right section divided into three parts, if I remember well, if my memory still serves me well. Uh, one part is that somehow easy for me, it was pretty easy. You have like 30 minutes to write an essay. They, they give you a topic. Then you have to write the, the essay. This one I remember well. I just took, I, I got maximum, maximum grade in this part. This is the, the second part you have to listen, then write. This one I believe uh, I don't remember well, but uh, th th that was my problem because so you have to be pretty fast because you have to read, you have to listen, then you have to write. This was the part I believe I had, I lost points. I don't remember quite well the. And you have the one that you have to read and write. This one as well, I did pretty well. So my problem was I had to mix the three of them because it's too fast. <laughs> if you lose, like, you won't think you, anyway, you get lost. But that's the point. So as well, if you want to train for the top IBT, I can give you assistance. But the reason of this video is just to let you know, to give you a sample uh, of, my, of my speaking. I cannot give you a sample of my listening, but that, that you have to talk to me on my first lesson. It's for free. Uh, about my writing, you can go if make Google my name, George Guerra Pires. You can find all my writings in English, it's papers. Recently, I have been written in Portuguese. I have been writing in Portuguese. The reason that I want to hit the Brazilian audience, but that was a choice of mine. That's not because I don't know how to write in English, because I, I want to write to the, to the Portuguese, to the Brazilian community, scientific community. So that was a choice. That was not a kind of limitation. So this video is a bit long. I know that because people in the, in the internet they want to be, to be very short. The reason I did it long is because I want you to see for yourself that I can speak for a long period of time without any problem at all. Uh, of course, uh, it's up to you. If you have access to a native, if you have just access to someone that speaks fluently, uh, native, but I can tell you for sure. Uh, yeah. One of the nice thing of uh, one of the nicest thing of, of English that you can speak with people all over the world, unless you want to go to USA or any other country that speak like American pronunciation. You, even go to UK, you are going to have a problem. But the British, I I I don't know about you, but I I find it kind of fun. I know that Americans all find it fun because if you go to France, which is the city, 
Uh, you see that make jokes like Ross. There is one episode of Ross decide to make the the British accent was quite fun. Anyway, that's it. I this video is just to make give you a sample of my English. I now I'm going to show you uh, very briefly how to how to ask for my my lessons. Super proud. So hope that you enjoy talking, enjoy listening to me, and I hope you enjoy talking to you as well. So here is my is my profile. Uh, that's my profile, super prof. Uh, the reviews in Portuguese because the review I have uh, several profiles, and the, this kind of review is like for all the profiles, so not just. Me. I my diploma was verified, but this but this verification here was not for the for the English. This verification was for my diploma of PhD in Math of Science. Uh, for the English, I didn't say anything at all, but I can send you if you want my, my last, I believe my last top ability was uh, four years ago, because it's very expensive to pay for the top ability, so I don't do it unless I had to. Uh, uh, so I, you can hit, uh, you can hit here, uh, uh, but here is not showing, but let me, let me show you. Let me show how, how you're gonna see it. Just a minute. Let me show you. You're gonna see it. Because that was my prep area. So that's how you see it. Let's see if I can see. Yes, yeah, that's it. So here, how you see it. You see here, uh, ask for lessons. I have, I'll give you some information about me here. I have the, the price. If you ask for two million lessons. Uh, you can, you can, I can give you a nice price. Here you have a video that I'm going to remove because I'm going to use this one that I'm going to do right now. So, but if you want to see it, here I'm teaching how to write an essay. This video you can find on my channel on YouTube. So I'm teaching how to write the essay. Uh, so I'm just teaching you how to. Write Hi. That was some years ago. That was some years ago. So that's it. I'm, I'm just. <laughs> Talk more than I supposed to talk, and so I can let you can see, I can show you that I can speak in English without any problem at all.